so what we're going to do for these are these are called the properties of log functions um this is not an individual AKS, but you might see this written out um, these different ways. So I want you to just be prepared for it. So for the product, you see how these two letters are multiplied together? Okay, in order to write it in the other way for the expanded form, you're going to say log of base B of M plus log of base B of N. For the quotient, you're going to see that there's a subtraction sign in between. For the power one, we're going to have m to the power of p, okay, where we can write p out in front and write the rest of it just the same. So we can pull this p and pull it out front and write it this way as well. So these are called the expanded forms. Okay, so if anybody ever says, hey, expand this log, this is what they're talking about, okay? So if I look at number one, it's going to say write each expression as a sum, difference, or power of logarithmic expression. So we see that this is multiplication. So that means that we're going to use the product rule. So we're going to write this as log of base 2 of 3 plus log of base 2 of 4. Okay, on this next one, we can see that it's a quotient, right? So we're going to use the quotient rule. So that means that we're going to write log of base 2 of 13 minus log of base 2 of 5. So all we're using are those rules that you just wrote down. Since it's a quotient or using that dividing sign, we're going to use a subtraction in between. On C, it's just like what we did on B. The only difference is it's 2 times C up at the top. So the way to write this out is you're going to have the product rule in the top, and then the whole thing is also a quotient. So this is going to be log of base 2, log of base 2 of 2 plus log of base 2 of C minus log of base 2 of 5. We see that we have this power right here, right? Okay, so the power rule said that we can take this exponent and we can write it out front. So that's going to be 3 log of base 2 of 9. Okay, we see that that's a quotient, right? That's got that subtraction sign in between. So the way to write this condensed is you're going to say log of base 8 of 12 over 5. That's all you're going to say. So on this next one, we've got a subtraction and then we've got an addition. So what you're going to do here is you're going to say log of z of 2a divided by b. The way I got that division line is because of that subtraction, right? And then we're going to multiply this whole mess by bc, okay? Because we see that plus over here. So we're going to say plus or multiplied by BC. Okay, so we took the first two things right here, and we said this divided by this, right? And then we were like, okay, we're going to take this, and we're going to multiply it by this thing over here. Why wouldn't you multiply by all of it? Because these two things I wrote first, and then this comes after. What's going to happen is there's this plus sign right here, which means that I'm going to use the product rule, as well as there's this number out here, which means that I'm going to use the power rule, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write log of base 12 of 6 to the second power, right? 6 to the second power, because this power is the exponent that goes over here, right? So now I've got this addition sign, which means that I'm going to use the product rule. So I'm going to multiply by 4. So here's, so you remember how yesterday we had those tables, right? And it had like x over here, and then I had log of base x, or base 10 of x, right? And it had like all these numbers and everything. And then when we plugged in 10, we got a whole number, right? And then we plugged in 100 and we got a whole number. And then we plugged in 1,000, and we got a whole number, right? 
Yes, no, maybe? Remember yesterday? Yeah. Day. No? Okay. All right, so what they're saying here is they want you to approximate the value for each of these based off the, this notion, the fact that you know this. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. From 5 to 10, how do we get from 5 to 10? Okay, we add 5, but we multiply by what number? 2. Okay, so since we multiplied from here to here, that means that we're going up in our logs, okay? So kind of like what we did here, where we went from 10 to the first power, then 10 to the second power. That second power gives us, gives us that two as our answer, right? So we added one from here to here. So in order to approximate this, we know that log of base two of five equals 2.3219, right? Which means that for this, we're going to just add one in the front. So this approximation is actually going to be 3.3219. Now, if you don't believe me, you can always go into your calculator and you can type log of 10 over log of 2. On the next one, how did we go from 5 to 5 halves? What happened? You divided by 2, right? Which means that we're kind of going backwards, right? So if I was going from... 100 to 10 in my chart, we subtracted one, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number and we're going to subtract one from it. So this is going to be 1.3219. And again, if you don't believe me, you can type into your calculator log of 5 halves over log of 2. Okay? It's stuff down. This right here. I know it doesn't make sense right now, but I will make sense in just a second. So you're writing this down on your paper. I know. So, so we're going to talk about logarithm inverses. So really quick, this is easy if you just pay attention. Ready? Shh. So do you see how this base right here and this right here are the same thing? If they're the same thing, what you can do is you can cancel them out and then x equals x. Okay? Right here, if this number right here and this base number right here are the same. You can cancel those out and x equals x. Okay? So that's all the inverses really mean is that, hey, they should be the same. Okay? <laughs> Watch. All right? Okay, so if I have these two problems, what I'm going to do is you notice how they're the same bases right here? So here and here. Those can cancel out. What's my answer? Nope, just five. Just five, just five, okay? Over here on B, you see how this number right here and this number right here are the same? Cancel them out, so what's our answer? That's it, okay? Okay, if I had log of base two of 64 raised to the two X, okay? And they said, hey, simplify this. Okay, now I can rewrite 64 in terms of two. Okay, what I mean by that is 2 to what power will give me 64? 2 to the 8th power will give me 64. Okay, so if I go into my calculator and I say 2 to the 8th power, that gives me 256. That ain't it. Okay, so 2 to what power will give me 64? 2 to the 6th power will give me 64, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this. Wait for it. Ready? Shh. I'm going to say log of base 2 of 2 to the 6th power raised to the 2x. So notice how, shh, notice how I rewrote that 64 as 2 to the 6th power, right? So now I can cancel this junk out. What am I left with up here? 6 times 2x, right? Well, we know what 6 times 2x is. That gives us 12x. So, in order to evaluate this, what you're going to do is you're going to take 8, put it out front, and then you're going to write into your calculator log of 27 over log of 3. So, here's what you're going to type. You'll type this stuff first, and then you'll multiply whatever you get here by 8. So, when I do that, I'm going to get log of 27 divided by log of 3. I'm going to multiply by 8, and that's going to give me 24. On the next one, what you're going to do is 
these cancel out, so that's going to give you 4. Over here, these cancel out, so that's going to give you 3. So 4 plus 3 gives me 7. On B, these are the same, so they're going to cancel out. You're going to be left with 2. Over here, these are not the same number, so you can't cancel those out. So you're going to say minus log of fourth over log of four. So what you're going to do is go into your calculator, and you'll do this part first, and then subtract two minus that. So you'll get log of one divided by four over log of four, which gives you negative one. So this is two minus negative one. So 2 minus negative 1 is going to give you positive 3. We're going to talk about this a little bit later, so don't worry about this.